Hi guys, I'm just coming back from my board activity as I'm now doing my pediatrics rotation and I'm a bit tired but I decided to make this video. For some time now, I come across some questions like how to be successful in medical school, how to succeed in med school, what are the qualities of a successful medical student and how to survive medical school. So I think I have an answer to these questions and I will try my possible best to attempt these questions. So in this video, I will be sharing five tips and five qualities which when you identify you can succeed in med school. And for those of you who are new, I am Umar Nafata, a finally a medical student and I do videos on medicine and lifestyle. So these qualities are based on my experience and my interaction with other medical students from my institution and from the videos that I watched on YouTube, like they are all emphasizing all these five qualities. So the first quality is the issue of attendance. You need to attend to different programs as a clinical student, you need to be attending your lectures, your tutorials, your practical sessions, and also the seminars in the and as a clinical student, you need to attend the world rounds, the theater, the clinic, the tutorials, the websites, and other things. And also the mobility and mortality reviews and any form of seminar that combines both the medical students and the senior lecturers. Because it is through this that you can gather a lot of knowledge that you might not know that you have accumulated until when you are asked to produce treatment. Coincidentally, you might be asked about some diseases which you have never read. However, if you are attending these events, you will be able to produce something that is reasonable enough for you to pass. The second quality is to perform where necessary. You need to be performing all the examinations either on the medicines or on the patients. Because even if you are attending without you being performing, you might miss a lot of steps and you might even fail an OSCE station, which you think you need. So you need to be performing all the systemic examinations and those surgical examinations. You need to be performing them because without performing them, it is only when you are asked to produce that you will start fumbling and missing some steps where at the end of the day, you might end up losing marks in that daily session. Another quality that usually successful medical students are identified with it is asking questions. You need to ask questions on what you don't know in order to gather knowledge and you need to also ask questions sometimes on what you know in order to reassure yourself that you know it correctly. So I can still remember there is one professor of ours during our chemistry days he used to tell us or ask in order to you know, and ask in order to confirm what you know whether it is correct. This is actually correct and you need to have that at the back of your mind even though sometimes most of medical students have asking questions. Like myself, usually when we are out from the long hours lecture, I get tired and I don't like seeing my colleagues asking questions. However, I sometimes have to ask and you need to forget about some things and focus on some things in order to be successful. The fourth quality is to prepare ahead and plan your schedule. Planning your schedule and preparing ahead will help you in order to minimize time to waste during your stay in med school. So you need to prepare before test and you need to read as if it is exams because sometimes you might read something now and you might not come back to it until after exams, you might never come back to it. So once you read carefully and you try to read as hard as possible during your test preparation, I assure you that even if it is in exams, if you are not able to read it, you will produce something that is productive and you will succeed and yes, that very exams. The fifth and the last quality that successful medical students are usually identified with is they are good at organization. You need to organize your things, summarize your notes. If you are someone like me that hates jotting and writing, you need to have your textbook. Or even if it is the PowerPoint whatsoever, you need to be making things like coloring them, different colors. Sometimes it is only in the exams only that you will remember the color code and try to answer things correctly and succeed for your exams. So guys, this is the end of 
this video and i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you find it useful and also i hope you will succeed in your journey to thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned bye